December 7th, 1941, a day that will live in infamy. At 7.55 a.m. Hawaiian time, 360 Japanese warplanes descended on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, bombing it in a surprise attack. The raid crippled the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Only one of 96 ships escaped serious damage. One of those vessels, unable to escape, was the USS Arizona. 1,177 men and women were killed on that ship. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was in Quonset today and learned of a project right here in Rhode Island that's helping honor all of the lives lost 81 years ago today. Matt? The USS Arizona still lies in its final resting place at Pearl Harbor. A somber reminder to the men and women who lost their lives and a national memorial for all to never forget. But today, General Dynamics announcing for the first time since a U.S. naval warship will once again carry the name Arizona. With just the touch of a torch to steal, a U.S. naval warship will once again bear the name Arizona. The ship sponsor, Nikki Stratton, the granddaughter of a survivor aboard the USS Arizona on that fateful day 81 years ago today. I only wish my grandfather were alive today. Donald Stratton, a man who had 65% of his body badly burned from those bombings. And after just two years, re-enlisting, returning to fight in campaigns in New Guinea, the Philippines, and the Battle of Okinawa. Grandfather lived by the mantra, remember Arizona. Every single day, every single hour, every single minute. Today, Stratton's granddaughter Nikki's emotions raw. And her words when speaking of the Navy's newest vessel, Fierce. Strike fear into the hearts of our enemies and those who threaten to take our freedoms that we enjoy away. As construction begins on the 460-foot, 10-ton nuclear-powered submarine. Now to be responsible for bringing the next USS Arizona to life uh, is it, something every shipbuilder at Electric Boat is just completely honored. President of Electric Boat Kevin Graney thanking all of the men and women who served to defend this nation's freedoms. You don't feel worthy um, some days, you know, based on what they sacrificed, um, the portions of their lives that they gave away, and some gave the ultimate sacrifice uh, to serve our, our great country. Five World War II veterans were in attendance today to celebrate the big announcement, and that's them right there. And that included Kingstown native Tony Fayella and his wife of 71 years, Betty. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.